Good morning, everybody. It is, uh, I don't even know what the time is. It's around nine o'clock on Wednesday, so I'm not 37 weeks yet, but tomorrow I will officially be in the safe zone. And if I go into labor, I won't have to go out of town. So I'm pretty excited. So far, it doesn't seem like she'll be coming tonight or tomorrow. So that's a good sign. I'll get a couple more days of cooking time. <laughs> At my um, obstetrician appointment on Monday, I was weighing 65 kilograms. If I was still putting on weight, I would have been around 67, but I've kind of stopped putting on weight. I read that you lose more weight towards the end of the pregnancy because of all the fluid loss and everything, and I have been leaking. I have been leaking a lot this week, and I think that might have something to do with it. I don't know, I'm not sure, but. I haven't put on, on any weight and I should have, sorry. Also I've been trying to eat as much as I can for breakfast in the mornings and I've been having a hot drink with it as well just for some extra energy because I'm trying to be prepared, like it could, I could go into labour at any time and I want to be prepared for that. I've been taking my iron tablets again, I stopped for a while because I just kept forgetting but I've been taking them to help my blood for after I've had the baby. I've also been trying to sleep in for as long as I can and I'm not very good at it, but trying to go to bed early just in case. I feel like this might be TMI, but a lot of things are when you watch pregnancy videos, so I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I've been going to the toilet a lot more for number twos and yesterday I went three times. It's kind of annoying to have to just go and sit there f <laughs> three times to empty but I think it's my body's way of preparing and just flushing everything out. I've also been having a lot of pressure in my pelvic area like it's kind of sharp pain it feels like the baby is just sitting right on my opening and and I have on and off lower back pain but I have constant upper back pain but that's because I crack my back and the reason I'm filming today instead of tomorrow is because um, I don't know if I'll get to film much tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to film anything the day after Because I don't know when it's gonna happen and today I feel good or today. I feel like it's not gonna happen. So <sighs> Yeah, right now I'm about to get up and just do some cleaning because I've been nesting in my head But like not in real life I've just been seeing all the things that need to be done and there's so much that I want to do just to prepare for this baby I don't want her to come home to a messy room or anything <sighs> I just don't have the motivation to get up I've been wanting to move that thing for a long time. As you can see, it does not line up with my bed anymore because I have moved my bed since I put that up. And the top of it is disgusting. Like, it's the cheapie from Wish. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, the best thing in the world or anything, but I could have hung that up better, and I never did. And now there's holes in the wall. <laughs> I've been and had a shower and done some tidying up and now I'm just having a snack and then I'm gonna go back to sleep because I'm not ready for lunch yet so there's no point trying to force something down I'm really not hungry you see couldn't see without it sunset is well gone sunset the sun has already set yes yeah, so I'm saying the sunset has well gone so we've just been for a walk to try and progress things because I'm tightening and we went to the shops we bought not productive foods but um, just things to have in labour and I'm packing a, a separate bag for food because it's not all going to fit. Got some peaches and creams, just some bars, crackers, some zippos. seems like a lot of food but it's not just for me so 